hi, welcome to my channel, The Chic and Simple Life. My name's Kat, and today I'm excited to share our home tour for Christmas 2024. Um, before I get started, I just want to say thank you guys for clicking on this video and watching. If you do like what you see, if you could hit the thumbs up, the like, and comment, it really helps my channel and YouTube push my video out there. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Um, but yeah, for today, I'm going to be sharing the same floor set that I usually show is our main living room, our family room, and our dining rooms. Um, but today, something extra special, I'm going to be sharing our son's bedroom. So I did this year go a little bit all out for their both their rooms. Um, for Ethan's room, we did a Star Wars theme Christmas tree, and Cash's, we did a Elf on the Shelf theme. So um, I'm going to be sharing those at the end after the the regular home tour and then um, I'll share those. So today I'm not gonna be um, kind of like when I, if you've been here before and you watch my home tours, I like to really show each item, say where I got it from, how much, but I did do a previous video on a holiday or Christmas decor haul and I gave you guys like all the price ranges and everything for the items. Um, since I'm going to be sharing the extra two rooms, I didn't want the video to be too long. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go through like my process of what I was thinking and how I styled items versus like the prices and where I got it from. But if you are interested in that, check out my previous video or just leave me a comment and I'll get right back to you um, with any information you need. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, I did say the theme was a Ralph Lauren classic Christmas with tartan plaid, like blue and greens. Um, as you can see, a lot of neutral tones, browns. I did incorporate like um, the horses because you know that's what he's known for. Ralph Lauren is like the horses and the polo theme. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It took me a really long time this time. I think because I was in a my thought process. So I pulled out everything and I kind of over like two weeks kind of set it up. The last week I really got into it, but it took me like a whole week to really figure out a game plan what I wanted to do but I did incorporate navy blue this year so I will be sharing that with you guys and I'm excited I really do love how it came out and I hope you do too so happy holidays and we'll see you at the end of the video let's start this video bye for now okay I wanted to do this shot with the double doors open so you could get the full effect of how it looks walking into the home which I never really show you guys the double doors open it's usually just one door but I'm gonna come in because it is later in the day and it's really busy today outside, all the traffic. So if you hear the doors closing, I'm sorry. But we're gonna pan over here. Like I always say, I like to give you guys a full view of everything. So this is, if you've never been to my channel before, this is our main uh, formal living room and our entryway. So there's the Christmas tree, you guys. I love it this year. But we're gonna start at the entryway, like we usually do, and then we'll work our way around the room and go to you know, each room, each space. So I always like to start here at our entryway, and this year I love how it came out. I say that every year, and I feel like I evolve every year with our entryway. And just my um, decor in general, like my decorating. So like I said, I went with a really Ralph Lauren classic. I wanna say like, it's really classic and elegant and cozy. Like I really wanted everything to feel really cozy this year. Um, so I just kind of layered double rugs there. And then I wanted to stay with my neutral tones. I like neutrals. I feel like I could use them year after year. And then just like I added the pop of navy blue this year. But for the mirror, like I told you guys, I always like to make it a focal point. And I went with a um, the cedar garland from Walmart from my Texas house line this year. So I just put one layer and it's really, really full. I just put one garland. I bought two this year. I used the other one on our fireplace mantle, which I will be showing you guys as well. And then I just added these really pretty... Um, berry picks. These were from Hobby Lobby either last year or two years ago and I know they carried them this year and I just kind of filled it in just to give it some dimension and layering like I always say and then to tie in the outdoors from the in I had bought three of these reefs so I put another one there and this time I tied the ribbon on here as well. So it kind of ties in you know walking through the front doors into the entryway and I just swagged, swagged the 
I'm sorry, swag the garland down and onto the entryway table. So it kind of looks like it's flowing. And then I, this is a new item. Um, it is a Studio McGee with Target lamp. I got this about a week and a half ago and you guys, I love it. I was on the hunt for a new lamp for here and I just love the neutral tones and I like that it's like a dimming lamp so you can make it bright or dim. Um, and I just layered it on top of a, like a, a rustic looking gold platter. And then I just always with the candles and layered in some like soft cream um, br bottle brush trees for layering. I got this. This is a new item I didn't show in my haul either. It was this horse portrait from Hobby Lobby. And I thought it was perfect when I seen it for my Ralph Lauren theme with the horses. I thought it tied in with everything with the vintage like rub and buff frame. I love it. And I just put some pine cones and greenery just to give it added texture. This is the same, um, I believe they call it like a, a barrel tree because it has the bottom of like a, kind of looks like a crate barrel. These were from the at-home store a few years ago. I believe it is a five foot tree, five or six foot. But I love it here. I like how it gives it the height and the dramatic feel when you walk in the door. And then I always just like adding a cozy knit blanket or something here um, on this chair with this pillow I found at Kirkland. So just for that hound's tooth print. But I did layer in this um, really nice, it looks like a spindle and it. they're pretty heavy. It's like spindle wood garland. This was last year from, God, where was this from? Walmart. So I really like the rustic feel. So I just, you know, tucked it here and I thought it looked perfect. And I found these really pretty bells. I did not share these either in my haul. I got them after. It is, um, they're all connected. They're huge and they're heavy from Ross. They were $12.99 for the set and I loved it. So I just stacked them here in this bowl just to give it that really antique rustic lived in cozy fill with some greenery on a stack of books and then more bottle brush trees. And then what Ralph Lauren is also known for besides like the horses and the neutrals is his plaid. So I had this plaid scarf from Target a few years ago and I just added it into this wicker picnic basket. I believe it's vintage picnic basket that I got from um, a friend many, many years ago. And I love it. And I just stacked a little pillow in there. And then just for, hi guys, a little bit of um, layering back here. I just put these, um, they look like wicker uh, window panes I got from Joann's years ago. So I like to use those a lot during spring as well, like Easter decor, but I thought they looked perfect here as well. So this is a full view of the entryway table with the rug. Sorry about the, the cord for the lamp. I just had nowhere else to plug it, guys. So I hate the cord showing, but I'm gonna try to figure that out later. <laughs> So I love how that looks. And then we're gonna swing over, I wanna say to our, our Christmas tree. Cause I, you guys, I haven't did ribbon in years on the Christmas tree and I finally did it again and I loved how it came out. I really, really love how full it is. This is the Christmas tree I had shared that my husband found for me this year, just about maybe a month and a half ago at a yard sale for $85. Um, it is, I believe, at Home Depot for about $400. So I think that was a great score. And then um, I had this horse picture for years from Kirkland's that I had in my loft. So I just brought it down. It's another thing I like to share, shop your home so you don't have to buy everything new. So I just brought this down and I thought it looked perfect here. And I just, another one of those trees from the entryway on the barrel with I stacked on some haystacks that I always have and then this is how I styled our uh, my wicker sled from Hobby Lobby this year I stacked it with these faux presents from Ross that I found and it was perfect with the tartan plaid and this beautiful velvet green ribbon and then I found one here in red with the nutcrackers which I also implemented implement it this year in our home decor. So I'll show that to you guys when we get there and I love how that came out as well. But let's get a look at the tree. 
and I will kind of go from the top to the bottom with the tree. So I found this beautiful velvet green ribbon this year at Walmart and I made my own bows just because I couldn't find anything that I was really looking for. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do for a tree chopper and I decided to make a huge bow out of it and then I just layered in a whole bunch of beautiful picks. Um, the brown picks I found at, where were these from? Uh, Dollar Tree this year for the fall season. And when I seen them, I already knew uh, that they would be perfect for my tree. So I grabbed um, probably about 12 to 15 of those and just layered in with other picks that I had over the years, like these beautiful little frosted gold berries from Hobby Lobby. And I know they had these ones as well this year. Um, and then just made sure I just kind of stacked everything. So, cause it is a big tree. It took a lot of ornament and a lot of picks, but I love, I kind of, it took me time cause I kept on adding things and I thought it came out wonderful. Like these beautiful, um, I had these for a few years. They're from Studio McGee. It came in a three pack. They're just like a, they are glass, but they're, I believe they're hand painted. Like this beautiful dainty detail of, it almost looks like falling leaves or cedar. And then um, I always keep this picture on our main tree of my boys when they're both really small. Um, just something special. And then I tied blue um, bows out of ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby during, I believe the summer or spring of last year. And I just love how it came out. And then these are like the big blue ornaments I had implemented this year into the tree. These blue and gold ones are from Walmart. I did just buy those as well. And these um, blue bulbs, the huge ones are from actually the Dollar Tree. And I just found those yesterday, so, or two days ago. And then here is the tartan plaid. I made my bows as well. I found that ribbon last year on Clarence after the holidays at Walmart. I could not find this blue tartan plaid this year really anywhere, you guys. So I'm glad I picked that up last year. But I'm kind of just giving you guys a full overview kind of the tree. And it's kind of, it's pretty much the same the whole way around. So I just want to show you guys how it looks from all these angles here. And if you're sitting on the couch here, this is what you see with the tree and the picture. And I think that just looks so beautiful. And I did do, um, for the bow on the top, I, I double layered it. So I did one in the front and also one facing out in the window just so it didn't fall flat. So that's the tree there. And when you look this way, you see the entryway table and then we'll come right here to the coffee table and then we'll work our way over to our dining room table. Sorry, I didn't lock the door so you could hear it. Let me close that really fast. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Today is actually really cloudy and it seems like it's going to rain. So like the wind is pushing on the front door. So I had to close it because you could hear the door opening. But here is our um, coffee table that I always like to style. And I forgot to mention, um, I always feel like a cozy Ralph Lauren theme is always a lot of like pillows and layering of chunky blankets. So all these pillows I layered in different plaids, different textures on the couch. And you guys, I'm not too like picky. I like a, a clean house. I've always said before, I feel like I have OCD. <laughs> but to be honest, like if my boys wanna come jump on the couch or grab a pillow, I, I'm not strict with that at all. So I feel like this is very cozy, inviting for them. We really don't come in this living room, but they are allowed to come in here and jump on things if they want, like lay on the couch, whatever, or grab a pillow and go to the loft. But yeah, I just feel like this just looks so cozy and warm and it's like a perfect day for to lay in here and just, you know, do nothing because it's so cloudy and it looks like it's going to rain. But yeah, so I for the couch, that was my main focus was just to make it look cozy and like if you want to go take a nap during the day, go right ahead. <laughs> but for my coffee table, I styled it again this year with these. Um, I think it's juniper picks or berry picks. It has like these little green, I don't know what they're called, like these little green berries on them. And then I, these were old from Hobby Lobby, but I know they still carry them. Um, 
And then I just stuck in these pine cone picks. I wanted everything to look really earthy and natural and like I said, inviting and cozy. Um, I stuck in these pine cone picks from, I believe Joann's a few years ago. It was either Joann's or Michael's, one of those two stores, they both carry those. Um, and then I want it to feel like very, that like luggage theme. And I had these old little luggage, um, faux luggages boxes from the Dollar Tree years ago, I believe during Father's Day, they always carry them. So I had a few of those, so I stacked them together and I just put these same bottle brush trees from the entryway on here. And then I had this wooden horse and I just tied a blue ribbon to um, tie in the navy blue everywhere. Same on the couch with the navy blue pillows. I tied in a few navy blue pillows to, you know, kind of bring the browns, the golds, the neutrals, but also with the navy blue. And then for the coffee table styling book, um, I did the same book, but I flipped it to a different page. It, this is um, old vintage like newspaper covers from years and years ago from Norman Rock Rockwell, I'm sorry. And I love this one. So on this side, it's Santa Claus. And on this side, it says back to school. Um, this cover was from January 8th, 1927. And it's the boy going back to school from Christmas break. And then the tree's knocked over. I love that. And then I just added one of these um, greenery picks in the middle and I tied ribbon around it. And I added one of the ornaments from the tree from the Studio McGee line. And I thought this just looks so pretty, almost like a, a bookmark, like it's holding open the book. And then these are real horseshoes from Texas when my mom went to go visit my aunt. And she brought these back for me years ago because. I, if I didn't mention, I love, I've always loved horses and I'm always fascinated by them. So my mom knows that and she went to go visit and she brought those back for me. And I, I always keep them. I keep them actually on the wall with, um, this picture here upstairs in the loft. So since I brought both down and I felt like it went with my whole theme, I brought them both down and I thought it looks so beautiful here styled and it's something special to me as well. So that is our coffee table. And then here is our dining room table, guys. Um, I just put a, a basic green. I believe this is a six foot tree from Walmart years and years ago. It's um, It comes unlit. I just did some twinkle lights from Target just to give it something in the corner. And then here I wanted to style it very neutral, uh, not too, too much but I know it's still like a lot for some people, but I loved how it came out. Just something very soft, um, classic and elegant looking. So I had more of those like vintage, I say vintage lightly, <laughs> quotations. Um, like it looks like little mini luggage boxes from the Dollar Tree. And I thought this was such a cute way to style something besides books. And so I just put them here with some bottle drop, bottle brush trees, different heights. I'm sorry, guys, I'm like stumbling over my words today. I do not know why, but um, yeah, sorry about that. And if I say um a lot, I don't know why I'm doing that either lately, but I just put multiple candles and I found this beautiful hurricane um, candle jar from, I believe it was also Studio, Studio McGee at Target. And I found this recently, maybe about two weeks ago at Target and it was marked down, so. I grabbed it and I know I wanted it. I think originally it was like 20 and I got it for like $6. So that was a score of a deal. But let's move over to the placemat. So here I just, you know, I just layered the candles, the bottle brush trees and greenery. I want it to be very like natural, warm, inviting, almost like, I don't know, like a bookstore or something. So I thought that looked really cute. And then I found these beautiful... Um, little dishes at the Dollar Tree this year. They carry the whole set with the large plates, the bowls, and the cups. But I just wanted the little dessert plate here just to go in the middle of a plain white dish. I didn't want to like overdo it with the same pattern. So I grabbed those with the plaid um, little tablecloth here, or not tablecloth, placemat, I'm sorry. And then I just did um, a glass drinking cup. And then these beautiful little bow napkin ring holders are from 
Kirkland's this year. And they did carry them in green and like a classic red for Christmas. But then when I seen the navy blue, it was perfect to go with my navy blue slash green theme. I also did um, incorporate like a navy, oh, I'm sorry, not navy, a forest green into the tree, but you can't really see it. But I wanted to do the blue. I felt like it popped against the green placemat here. So this is the dining room table all set up. And let's move over to the family room and also the hot cocoa bar first. So we'll see you guys right now. Here is we're at the hot cocoa bar, hot cocoa station, I like to call it. I'm actually standing on my stairway so you guys can get the full effect from this angle. And then I'll come down and show you guys. So I have these floating shelves here and I really want it to be like a Santa Mrs. Claus slash gingerbread theme. Um, I went with that last year, but I changed it up quite a bit this year with the decor. And I just really thought it was such a cute thing to have. Um, I do this every year for my boys. So they always look forward to their hot cocoa bar. They love hot chocolate and all the little things. They already been digging in. So I kind of refilled some of the jars um, already for them. But here is the hot cocoa station. I'll kind of go a little slower and closer so you guys can see all the details. Um, we'll start down here actually. So I just put the Santa boots. I styled them with some greenery. And then I have these mugs that I got from Hobby Lobby over the past few years. And I just stacked those onto a cake stand. And I really thought this was cute was the, these were actually faux like gingerbread cookie ornaments. I got from Hobby Lobby last year and I did like a gingerbread tablescape for um, Christmas morning for my boys. And this year I wasn't going to use them on the table. And I thought, oh my God, this would be so cute in this little uh, mixing bowl here. So I sell those there and then just layered um, these dish towels that I had, Christmas dish towels. And then for on top, I had this Coco Cafe house from Target Dollar Spot last year and I thought it was so cute. It lights up. I didn't get any this year. Um, I had them in my hand, but I was like, I don't really need them. And now I'm like, oh, I should have grabbed them, but um, they would have been so cute here, like in between the items. But I think this still looks cute. I just have some chocolate spoons that the boys like to put in their hot cocoa or just eat, you know, whenever they want. The little candy canes and then marshmallows. I did get these little wooden mixing spoons from Hobby Lobby for them for the hot cocoa station. And then I had like extra little mugs here. So I just styled them on this little shelf that I had from Target a few years ago. And then I have these classic um, cookies they sell every year, um, little sugar cookies. So I put those in a jar with just tied some um, striped ribbon on it. And then I found these rock candies at the Dollar Tree for Christmas time and I thought they looked very nostalgic. So I put them here in this little um, glass jar. And I really love is that they have like the wooden bottoms and they're all individually wrapped. So these are also great for like birthday parties or Christmas parties if you're hosting, you wanna do a hot cocoa station. Um, like if you're worried about like them going stale or bugs flying on them, this would be great for outside because they're already individually wrapped. So I just have those styled there. So if the boys want one, they could just grab them. And then I did, this year I had bought this, um, my Texas house, this was the viral Christmas tree and I thought it looked really, really cute here and I just layered it onto um, a wooden box with a tree I already had for a few years. So I put one on each side. Let me step back so you get the full effect on a wicker basket. So if you guys haven't noticed, I really like to layer items and just create more like a lived in look. So I don't like anything like too, too, I mean, I like everything in its place when I style my home, but I don't like, I don't want it to look too modern, if that makes sense. So I really like how cozy it looks. Like for the memories for my kids, um, I hope this brings them great memories. But here is the top, it's kind of high. I have Mr. Santa there, I bought him. I thought he looked so vintage. He is actually from the Dollar Plus section at Dollar Tree this year. I shared him in my decor haul and I love him up here. He's really lightweight, so um, he could withstand on the shelf. 
And then I just layered um, another Santa coffee mug from Hobby Lobby. And then these faux little Christmas books with some trees on them and some greenery. And then here I had a cutting board from Hobby Lobby, I think a year or two ago with the little Santa faces on him. And he looks like he's like a little mug and the Mrs. Claus. And I just hung some gold bells there. And then I just styled it with everything I had. So all this I already had previous besides this little peppermint tree I shared. I had got it at Walmart this year. It was an ornament. I just cut off the ribbon and I just styled it here. And I think so. I think it looks so cute. And this little um, Santa, he's like a little jar. He's so cute. He looks like a old like drinking container, but he's not. He's just like, just a canister. Um, I got years ago at the 99 cent store. I wish I did. I have a Nutcracker one, the Santa, and I believe a snowman. Um, and I love him. And I thought he just looks so cute here and like nostalgic and cozy. So this is the hot cocoa station. I know it took a little bit longer to go over because there's kind of a lot of little details, but that's the hot cocoa station. And that is the in-between way of our, for, not our formal, our family room, I should say. So let's go in here. This is our second main tree this year. Um, and this area, I wanted to keep it um, not the navy blues, but just like the golds, the browns, and the neutral tones. And I feel like I executed that here. Um, I always say I don't like to like over style everything, but I know it's still a lot. And I just love it. So we'll start here. I If you've been here before, I usually have a glass coffee table, like an oval shaped. And this year um, I moved our leather ottoman from where these chairs are, I move, it's usually sitting here or where the couch is. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna style it as a coffee table. So I moved it here in the center and I just put um, this head bust I got at Michael's. I styled it with some fall fo of foliage, um, these like little berry ones from, I believe I got that as Michael's at, as well. And then I just stuck in these holiday picks here. And I really love how that tied in. I tied a ribbon around her neck, a bow ribbon, just to kind of go with the ribbon theme. I carried like the bow theme in here as well, um, but not just the navy blue, if that makes sense. It's just like the neutrals, like I said. And then I had these bells from Hobby Lobby. I styled them with a candle on this beautiful tray I had for years. Um, and then on our TV stand, I just did our Santa Claus and some trees there just to keep it not too much going on in the background. I just threw a chunky blanket here. Um, if the boys want to grab it and lay on the couch, they can. And then this is our second Christmas tree is this one from, I believe this one last year or two years ago, I like, might've got it at Walmart. So this one does have different settings the, for the lights. Um, the one in the main living room did not, it's just one steady setting. This one does have like twinkle lights off and on, um, but I just liked it steady here. And I got these really pretty velvet texture ribbons at the Dollar Tree this year, if you could believe it, or, believe it or not. And they had it in a few different colors and they also had it in that very popular um, burgundy color everyone's doing this year. But I really like this taupey beige tone. So I started with the those and then I just had um, a whole bunch of ornaments from previous years and garland. So. I just kind of swagged the garland on there. Um, I put on the bows and then I wanted to keep the gold, the greens and the browns. And I had so many ornaments, I did that. I believe the only new ornaments on here are these nutcrackers from Walmart this year. Um, I only grabbed three a few months ago and I've been looking for them, they've been sold out. So they carried them in gold and silver. So I just put the three on here because I thought it looked so, so pretty with the reflection of the Christmas lights. And let me step back. And I think that looks so beautiful. It's very neutral, but it is a lot of ornaments on there. So it really gives it that glow that I love. So I think it looks so cozy. And then I just layered, you know, just some, Sorry about that, I accidentally hit my 
button and it turned off my camera. So I just layered all these ornaments on here, kept it neutral. This is how it looks if you're looking this way from the living room to the kitchen. And we'll go into the kitchen next. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I just have these two chairs here and I just put a vase with some of those greenery picks also from the front living room. And here, like I always say, I like to kind of have the whole house flow since we kind of have an open floor plan. Um, and I think it really goes well. So for the fireplace this year, I also had another horse picture that I thought was just so beautiful that we had hanging in our bedroom. So I brought this down. Um, it's this... I think it's a, like, it, I believe it's a real photo, just, you know, a mass production. It was at Hobby Lobby. It's like on a poster board or a poster style picture. And I found this really um, pretty rustic frame at Hobby Lobby years ago. So I just framed it in there. Um, but let's step back so you guys can get the full view. So this is that other garland from my Texas house that I swagged. And I just added a lot of different picks just to give it some layering, some different textures in there. I put in some little uh, fairy lights. And then this is also the garland from my Texas house this year that I styled here with some neutral stockings from Hobby Lobby. And I just wanted the different layering again. So velvet, the teddy bear texture, and then I have some bells here from, I believe these were Hobby Lobby a few years ago as well. So keeps it neutral, but it keeps the eye moving when you add different stuff so it doesn't fall flat. And then I have candlesticks here. Oh, I forgot to light these for you guys. Um, I can light those so you guys can see how that looks too. I think it'll look really pretty against the frame. And then I have like these um, bottle brush trees from Target a few years ago. So I just layer those there. But also, if you guys do real candles like I do, just always make sure you're in the room when you light your real candles. <laughs> I've had an incident before where I stepped out of the room and they were still lit. So just make sure you're always nearby. Um, and then for here, the kitchen area, let's go over this. This is the Nutcracker theme table I was telling you guys about that I just love. So this is our um, dining room table that we eat at every day. So this is our everyday table. And then I just hung these reefs on each back of the the, uh, the stools. I did get new ones this year because last year I think I had um, different ones from Target from previous years. So I think they're like a juniper berry. And these are more like a cedar from Hobby Lobby. I went with like a lot of cedar this year. Um, and I just kind of wanted to tie it all in together. But for the placemat, or place setting, I'm sorry. I just found these adorable nutcrackers from the Dollar Tree. They are plastic and just like a cheap material, but I thought they were perfect just to have as a place setting. Um, and I got each like different character. So like this one's green and then I have a, two different blues and then a black one back there, like all wearing different coats and stuff and different instruments. So he's holding like a trumpet, I believe. And then the blue one's holding a sword. I don't know. They're just so cute. I will go around and show you. But I found these Nutcracker just paper plates at Home Goods this year. And they have like the different style of Nutcrackers, which I thought was perfect. It matched the Nutcrackers that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I just layered them on some chargers and some plates that I've had. I had these plaid Robert Stanley napkins from Hobby Lobby from previous years. And I love how it's still plaid because like I said... I want to do different plaids with the Ralph Lauren theme. And then I had these, bought these now, or I think these were crafting like little wreaths from Hobby Lobby, but I'm using them as napkin rings. And then for the centerpiece, I just again had different um, garlands that I layered and different picks. So I just layered the garlands and then added picks to it. I put the candlestick holders and then I found these really beautiful nutcracker candle holders from Hobby Lobby this year. And I thought that looks perfect there. So that is our centerpiece is just a lot of candlelight, the nutcrackers. Um, on Christmas morning, I will be doing like a nutcracker breakfast for my boys with a set of this setup, but I'm going to be adding more. So I have like nutcracker cups and 
um, just different little cute things and I'll make them like pancakes and set it up here and fruit and things like that. So I probably will be sharing that on my Instagram stories. So if you want to follow me there, I'll keep it, I'll put everything down in the description. And also I like to post stuff on my Pinterest to give you guys ideas for the following year. So, um, that is the dining room table. And then this is just a little area that we usually keep our Christmas tree here in front of this window. Um, but since it, we moved it here this year into the actual living room, there was so much empty space that for this area, I just wanted to do something very cozy in this corner. And I thought this turned out so, so well. I just hung a wreath here on this mirror that always stays here. And then this big tall picture um, with the scripture on it from the night before Christmas. I thought it was so cute. So I layered that on top of these stools that I've had that are kind of like a, a houndstooth print. And then I just layered some blankets and actually t-shirt flannels that I had. And I thought that looked so cute with a, a little spindle of yarn. I found these um, like gift boxes from the Dollar Tree this year and I thought they looked so cute and vintage here. And then I just put a wooden nutcracker here with some uh, a bell and one of those another one of those boxes there. And then I just placed a tree here just to give it that feel of coziness and the woodsiness that of Christmas, just so it brings some the light into this corner as well. So if we come back this way, I just have a small vignette back here that I usually like to do as well. So. Um, I kept it very simple. I just put this um, metal nutcracker from Target here with some picks. And then this was new. I believe it was from the spring line with Studio McGee um, this past spring. Um, but I found it at Target and I just loved it. I think it could go year round as well. It's just fruit. And it, I just love how it looks like vintage and... I don't know, something like my grandma would have had in her house growing up. I do remember my grandma's having like pictures of fruit and I know all that's coming back. So I thought this just looks so subtle and pretty here. I usually have like a floral one from Studio McGee, but I thought this was something different with the frame. And then I just kept our regular jars out here. So I loved how that looked. And then let me turn you around so you can kind of see from this angle into the living room from the table as well. And then I could show you these nutcrackers too. So what I was saying, like each one had something different. So he has like a little sword and he's like in his black and red outfit with his blue boots. I thought that was so cute. I mean, they are plastic, not the best quality, but they're just here for place setting. So that's how it looks from this angle. And so when the boys eat, they can watch TV from here. And I think it just looks so cozy. And then over here, we'll get to my kitchen island. I always do a little vignette there. I just hung a reef here and tied a ribbon. It's the same reef that's hanging over and um, on that mare there. So again, I like to like layer different things in the same room, the same space I should say, um, just so it could draw the eye to different corners, but it's not like distracting if that makes sense. And then here are these beautiful, I had shared these in my haul as well. Um, they're huge, they're probably like four feet each, they're picks. I folded them down a lot for this huge vase, but they're still really tall. I like how they're, they look like a wooden uh, branch with like little icicles on them. So I love that. Those were from Hobby Lobby last year. I did not see these this year. I don't know if they sold out before I got to look at them in the store or if they didn't carry them this year, but I found these last year at Hobby Lobby. So I put them here in this vase and then I just did a small, again, a small vignette here, just this, um, like a little Christmas house with a flameless candle, a star, some greenery, and then I just have a burning candle there. So that is it, you guys, for the downstairs, um, Christmas decor. Let me go upstairs and share the boys' rooms with you. I hope this helps. Like, again, I always say I help to inspire somebody. I love watching videos like this and it gives me different ideas how to style my home. And just like, even if it's something so small, like something at the hot cocoa bar, like, hey, I never thought to use, I don't know, a candy jar and put those in there or do that. So it's just something really small that I like to do on here and just to show you guys, like, 
what I do in my home. And I feel like I love watching these videos, so why not share? So let's go upstairs and I'll show you. We'll start with Cash's room and then we'll move to Ethan's. Okay, everyone, so we're here at my son Cash's room. He is our six-year-old. Um, I was saying in my last video that I kind of restyled his room, not re totally like overhaul, redid it, but I did restyle it. But this is his room for Christmas 2024 and he loves it and I love it. So it all started with um, this dresser here that we had found actually just someone threw it out and we grabbed it and I loved it. I loved how it gave that very like old feel and I don't know, I just loved it. So um, we grabbed it and I kind of started redoing his room off of this dresser. So uh, first I'll kind of pan so you guys could get a full view of everything and then we'll go through it. So we'll go this way first and then I'll swing you around because he does have like a small little bookshelf behind me that's styled for Christmas for him. There's his tree. And then if you go this way, he is our six-year-old, so he still has like his little plushies up there and things like that that he likes to keep in here. Obviously, I didn't want to take everything kitty away from him. I just want to keep it kid-friendly, but still like, you know, styled it how I would like it. <laughs> but yeah, so this is his room. Let me step back again. So sorry if you can hear my kids. They're on, they're on break. Thanksgiving break. So we'll start here at the dresser. So um, actually, this is how it looks from his, like laying in his bed. So he has his little lights there. Um, and I just put these wreaths that I have, cedar wreaths with bows on top. And then for his dresser here, I just found um, this beautiful, it almost looks like an antique mare. It's from Ross and it was $35. And it's really heavy. So my husband did like bolt this to the wall for him. I thought it looked perfect here and I just put a wreath on there with some satin ribbon. And then I found this really cute little dog. It's like a, Dal I don't know what kind of dog it is. I wanna say it's like almost like a Dalmatian dog. If you know, let me know. But I thought it looked so, so cute. Something like you could find off Etsy. But I found it at Home Goods for $12.99. So I loved it and I grabbed it and it kind of matches the layered rug that I have in here. So I, I love how that plays off of each other. And then, these were at Target from their fall collection. I don't know if it's just Threshold or a Studio McGee collab. I can't remember. Or you know what? I think it might be Hearth and Hand. But they were $35. It comes with the like the smoky gray vase. But I found it on clearance for about $17 or $18. So I grabbed that. I thought it looked great there. But to bring in like the Christmas theme, I've had this runner for years. It almost looks like a, a ticking stripe. And so I layered it here because it kind of matches like the colors of Elf on the Shelf. And then in, in a little wooden doble, I had put some of his favorite Christmas ornaments that he wanted to put on the main tree, but then he didn't want to put on his tree as well. So he was like, no, I don't want to mess up like my Elf on the Shelf themed tree. So I ended up coming up with this idea. I thought, why not put it in a little bowl for him in his room where if he wants, he could pull these down and play pretend play with them or just have them here to look at but he knows they're like special to him so I put his specialty ornaments in there and then I didn't mention with the nutcrackers but every year since my first son was born I like to buy them a nutcracker every year to add to their collection and this is Cash's nutcracker from last year he has a gingerbread man theme and I thought it was so so cute just to put in his room um you know, just so he knows he has his own special nutcracker. But I have yet to get them a nutcracker this year, but I'm probably going to take them. Sometimes I buy it and give it to them, and sometimes I let them pick out their own nutcracker. So this year I might take them, like, on Black Friday is next week um, and go to Michael's. I know Michael's always has, like, really unique nutcrackers and let them pick out their special one. Um, but, yeah, with that, I had this mercury glass um, Christmas tree. So I thought it looked beautiful styled here on his dresser. And then I got this beautiful lamp for him at Home Goods. It's um, like a wicker base with a gold bottom, which I thought looked perfect here in his room. I just had to buy a different lampshade, which wasn't a big deal. It came with like a really loud, like ugly printed one, <laughs> but I thought that looked beautiful. And then I just added this um, 
little tent for him. I thought it looked so, so cute for like a little reading nook. He loves to look at his books or his watch his tablet. So I had this here and I just added some fairy lights to the top of it. And on the inside, I just put a Santa pillow from years past from Target and then that candy cane pillow from Walmart. And then I had these really cute, um, the little golden books that I had found last year for him. And I just stored them away because I found them after Christmas. So I laid them here. And so we're going to read these throughout the Christmas season. And I thought this was just a, such a cute idea. I was going to give it to him in like his stocking or like I do make them a little um, box on December 1st to kick off like the holiday season. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to give him these right now so we could start reading them. Um, just because he loves little books and, you know, expands his little mind with reading. So I laid those there for him. And then here is his Christmas tree. He We went with the Elf on the Shelf, like I was saying in my last video, um, when I found some decor. And I knew I had found other things. And I, you guys, I told you I had more stuff. I just could not find it. It was stored away still. I had not pulled out my um, Christmas tubs from last year. But I ended up finding all these Elf on the Shelf ornaments that I found at that home store. So this is like what kicked off Elf on the Shelf with that tree skirt I was showing you. I did not end up going with the tree, the Elf on the Shelf tree skirt in here. Just because I felt like his tree was a lot of red and green and white. And then the tree skirt was green and red. And just threw off all the creams in his room. Like with his curtains and everything. So I just ended up going with this... Um, tree skirt down here but he loves his tree so we'll start from the top I just did these really cute little elf feet coming out and then I had all these um old berry picks from years prior sorry you guys if it's dark it's really dark outside if you could see um it looks like it's gonna rain so I just had all those berry picks from years prior and then I found these really cute little like um they look like vintage light Christmas light bulbs from the Dollar Tree this year. And I found them in red and gold and I didn't grab the gold. Now I'm kicking myself. I should have just grabbed the gold and saved them for like a different year, but I did grab three of the red. So I put those there. Um, and then I just layered in like all his little elf stuff. So his little elf on the shelf stuff that I found last year at that home store. I found these this year at Walmart. If you didn't watch my previous video, I kind of go over all the ornaments and where I got them from. And then I found this beautiful red and white striped ribbon at Walmart this year. So this is his tree. And I, on both boys' trees, I kept a special ornament they made for me. Um, I just put on this tree. So this was from two years ago of Cash when he was in TK. And I think it's so, so cute just to have something cute for them, you know, for their own special room. So this is his tree here. And I put the twinkle lights. It is a six foot um, flock tree. Honestly, I don't remember if it was from Target or Walmart, but um, I just put that in here and I added twinkle lights to it. And then we'll go around this way and I'll swing you guys around to look at his bookshelf. So his bookshelf, it's just a smaller bookshelf, but I wanted to add just something cute. And I had found this last year as well. Um, Elf on the Shelf stuff at the at-home store and it lights up and it says light up the holidays. I just stuck a bow up there just to, I don't know, I just thought it was a little cute touch. And then here's his little Grinch tree. I just put some little, um, it's like those light up necklaces from the Dollar Tree. I just put it around it. I thought it was cute. And then I just added his Cindy Who and Grinch there. So this is his little Grinchy slash Christmas corner on his bookshelf. And then, so this is it for Cash's room. I'll just kind of walk you guys this way so you can kind of see how everything looks. Sorry, my son Ethan talks loud when he's on his video games. And we're gonna go over to Ethan's room now. So let me know what you guys think of their trees. This is the most I ever did for those trees. So I usually do a tree in here, but it's usually like just them throwing on their ornaments that they love. And it's not really styled. So this year I want to style their tree. And let me tell you guys, like they're even fighting like whose tree is better. Like, no, my tree is better. No, my tree is better. So I think they really love it. Like my older son, Ethan, loves sleeping on his tree on every night. I, of course, I go in and I turn it off during the, like in the middle of the night. But 
I just feel like it just, I don't know, like it warms my heart that he's so happy to have like his tree styled in his room. So I'll show you his next, his is Star Wars theme. So this is Cash's room and let's go to Ethan's room now. Okay, now we're, we are at my son Ethan's room. His room is Star Wars themed. So I'll kind of, his room, his bedroom's a lot smaller than Cash's just because right next door to us, he has a full room. It's a gamer room. So since he has like two bedrooms, Cash does have the bigger bedroom. Honestly, Ethan only sleeps in his bedroom. He lives in his gamer room. So this is Ethan's room and we'll go over the tree right now. I'm just going to kind of swing you a little bit this way so you can kind of see his dresser as well. So I just have his dresser styled with some of his nutcrackers that I was telling you um, we like to collect for them over each year. But let's go over his tree first. So from this angle, you can kind of see a better view from his bed. Sorry if you can hear the boys. <laughs> they are home. So we have this huge stormtrooper that he's had for years. He got this from his grandma Marlene as a birthday present one year. I know he talks or lights up. I just, we haven't put batteries in him. But um, so I put his stormtrooper style there to go with his Star Wars tree. And I hung these beautiful um, stars that I had last year hanging from our entryway when I did like our Nordic theme. Um, this year, I just hung them in Ethan's room. I thought it looked really, really cool, just with his Star Wars theme. And for his, like, his tree topper, I had these for years from Michael's and Joanne's different picks. Sorry if it keeps on going in and out of focus, guys. It's all the glitter is trying to focus on it. But here, I just stuck in. I had mentioned prior that he had, like, a lot of Star Wars masks and stuff. So I thought that would look so cool tucked into the tree. So... I tucked in Darth Vader there, and then I just went with all his silver, white, and black ornaments, and this really beautiful black ribbon from Walmart this year. It's actually velvet ribbon, and I layered his and Cash's with like a mesh. I forgot to show you Cash's because it was a little dark in there as well, but his has, um, Ethan's is a silver mesh, and Cash's was like a white mesh. And then here is Ethan's picture when he was little. He is 13 now, guys. So this was probably about seven years ago. And I just put another mask there, I believe. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. That's the Mandalorian mask. And then I had um, a gift box there from Target years ago. So I thought that just looked perfect because it was black and white. And I just did silver picks for him throughout his tree. And then that picture on the back says, love you to the moon and back. I thought it was perfect for Star Wars theme, you know, since it's like outer space theme. And I hung these silver string lights just from his window seal. And then I just put here some bottle brush trees on his floating shelving. He usually has all his like soccer merchandise and colognes here, but I took them, took them off to style um, just the reindeer here that I had from, I believe was Kirkland's years ago and some bottle brush trees. And then his bedding all stayed the same. I just pulled out his old Star Wars plushies and put them there with some throw blankets for him. And then his dresser, um, is very simple with his mirror. I hung this beautiful, um, rustic reef. It has like silver. It's kind of hard to see cause it's dark in here. You guys, the sun just is it's only like 440 and the sun's gone and it's cloudy today but it's um with pine cones and some silver glitter i thought looked perfect for here and then a few just a few of his nutcrackers he's collected over the years so just some small ones like he has like a pirate he picked out one year and then he has like a joker one uh, when he was really into like nasa and outer space he got that one um just some regular ones um, and then I thought this was interesting to point out. I was going through all his nutcrackers and the bins. And this one's actually from the Dollar Tree years ago. I mean years ago. And it's actually wood. Now they are just like plastic. But before they used to be wood nutcrackers at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I couldn't believe it when I looked at the bottom. Like this was from the Dollar Tree. But that's amazing. Um, and then he, he was really into like fire trucks or firemen. And then he picked out this one one year as well. So... Or I might have picked it out for him. I can't remember. I do, like I said, I usually let them pick out one or I pick it out for them. But 
that is his Nutcrackers. And he's a teenager, so I just kept his colognes in his room for him. Um, but yeah, let me swing you back around. Just get one last look. That completes the home tour, you guys. Let me know what you think, how I style their trees for their rooms. I, it was the first time I really went all out for the room styling. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Like I said, it really helps me on YouTube to push out my video as a smaller creator. I just sometimes get lost there. So thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. And I'll hope to see you guys soon. If not, I'll see you guys in 2025. Bye for now.